the JAMA Network. During recent years, more and more women have been choosing a double mastectomy to treat cancer diagnosed in just one breast. The use of double mastectomy indeed increased steadily over time from the period of 1988 to 2011. What we don't know is what happens to those women afterward and whether they gain any benefit in terms of survival. Dr. Allison Curian from Stanford University School of Medicine and Dr. Scarlett Gomez from the Cancer Prevention Institute of California and co-authors studied a database of women diagnosed with breast cancer in California during the past decade. They examined records of women with early stage cancer diagnosed in just one breast who underwent a single mastectomy, double mastectomy, or breast conserving surgery with radiation. We ended up studying more than 189,000 women for at least seven years each. We were able to study the experiences of women from many different racial ethnic groups, socioeconomic backgrounds. The rates of double mastectomy to treat a one-sided breast cancer have increased at a rate of 14% a year. Women under age 40 were using double mastectomy at a much higher rate. In 2011, nearly a third of women in that age group were having double mastectomy. The study appears in JAMA. Journal of the American Medical Association. Women who had double mastectomy did not seem to have any better survival than women who had the other two surgical procedures. The women who had the single mastectomy did have worse survival than the other groups of women. The researchers found that women having double mastectomy tended to be non-Hispanic whites with a higher socioeconomic status and private insurance. In contrast, those having single mastectomy were more likely minorities with lower socioeconomic status and public insurance. We really need to improve on our strategies for communicating this kind of information to a patient who is making choices about how to treat her early breast cancer. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.